Everybody knows that one of the most important things in a video game is the features and mechanics that you use to play. For professional game developers, these mechanics sometimes take weeks to months to create, from the first idea to a fully polished feature. Good thing I'm not a professional game developer. Here's the deal. I'm gonna give myself, uh, three hours to make a game with only features suggested by ChatGPT, because it's been around for four years and it's probably been thinking about game stuff for a while. And I needed to make a video. Now let's just jump right into it. Keep in mind I record this video at night from 11pm to 2 in the morning so I was definitely not thinking correctly. Which means I made some interesting decisions along the way which adds just another fun wacky layer to this nightmare. Now the ground rules are that I need to add 3 features that ChatGPT gives me. I can't tell the AI anything other than that I need a feature for a game, but I can ask clarifying questions. And the final rule is that the game needs to be done within the time limit. Duh. And one more thing, this video was supposed to have audio from the actual recording session, but OBS didn't record anything from my microphone because I forgot to change the settings. Now that we have the rules set up, it's about time to get started. Before I got the timer set up, I got the project ready because I didn't want to waste any time. If you consider this cheating, I don't care. And with that, the timer starts now. Obviously, the first thing I did was ask ChatGPT what the game should be, and it gave me Escape from a Haunted Carnival. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. I'll do it. Which had to be the most brainless prompt I've ever gotten for a game, but I had to roll with it. After that, I asked what perspective the game would be in since there wasn't one specified, and ChatGPT gave me a top-down perspective, which is actually good for me since that's an easier thing to get right in less than three hours. Of course, the first thing I started with was a player scene since I needed the player to do literally anything else. That was fairly easy to do except for the part where I completely messed it up. After the player, I threw a debug scene together just so I have a place to test the things I'm working on. Next up, it was time to ask for the first feature to add to this game, and ChantGPT told me to add a flashlight mechanic with a dwindling battery percentage. Don't think I won't. Don't think I won't. The first approach I went with was to add actual lighting mechanics to the game before I remembered that I knew absolutely nothing about Godot 4's lighting mechanics. So I went with a second approach, where I just made a mask around the player with a Polygon 2D, which worked well enough. Then I made a HUD to put the battery percentage on it, and just made the battery variable decrease by 1 every 3 seconds, giving the player like 4.5 minutes to explore, which I never tested to check if that was enough time. Then it was about time to ask for a second feature, which was to add item collection in locked areas. First I made a quick map layout with a free ground asset pack I found on itch.io and then I needed to make keys and unlockable doors to the other areas. To get started on that I literally downloaded a fake PNG of a key off the internet and I just programmed simple pickup mechanics. Then I hooked them up to a global variable and copied the script and duplicated the scene across all the keys because performant code is for nerds. Then I did basically the same thing for the doors that blocked the areas where the player needed to explore. And now, the player can collect keys and unlock doors and get to the explorable areas and all that cool stuff that I was told to add. Once that was finished, I remembered I needed to get an actual threat for this game since that's what the holy AI asked for. So I got to work on making the evil clown that would follow you with the spookiest PNG of a clown I could find on Google in two minutes. What I did for the clown was to make it spawn on the map and make it follow you around with code that I totally didn't steal directly from Dungeon's Risk. Dungeon's Risk being the top-down dungeon crawler I've been working on for the past 7 months, link in the description and in the ending card for the playlist that chronicles my progress on it. Don't mind the shameless self-promotion. After ironing out the bugs for the clown, it was time for the final AI suggested feature to be added. I went back one last time to ChatGPT to ask for the third feature and it told me to make a day-night cycle for the game. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All I did was make the Polygon 2D for the flashlight disappear when daytime came with a timer, then reappear when the timer went off again. 
With that finished, the AI suggested features are finished, but I still had time so I added a main menu and a winning menu for when you escape the carnival. I also made it so if you got caught by the clown, the game restarts. Then finally, I needed to add the carnival rides and attractions and stuff like that, so I quickly added them. And after adding the ring toss, the timer went off and the challenge was over. Before I started this challenge, I knew it was going to be a disaster from the start due to how ChatGPT likes to sound super verbose and detailed. And as you can tell, that leads to some unique responses to my questions. I was able to complete the challenge, however, since technically it's a playable game and it didn't break any of the rules I laid out before I did all of this. Maybe in the future I'll return to this project to make it better since it's now forever seared into my brain and all of its flaws I shall never forget. Also since this video was recorded in October and just so happens to be a horror game, this counts as the Halloween special. The download link will be in the description so check it out if you want to play this game that even God has abandoned. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I don't get taken out back and shot by YouTube. And for now that is all. Have a good one. I'm out of here.